Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Dine Channel. We're here just outside the Pawn Stars building. This is their shopping district here on the left. They put in a whole bunch of little sh uh, shipping containers and now they call it uh, Welcome to Pawn Plaza, 725 Las Vegas Boulevard, right across from their Pawn, Star Pawn Stars store here, just south of downtown Las Vegas, the Fremont Street Experience. They put this in here, low rates at 13% they're advertising there. And uh, got some pedestrian traffic here, we'll wait and see if they're uh, going to cut in front of us. And they don't, so uh, we still, still have a bunch of traffic here though. This is the sidewalk out here in front of the uh, Pawn Stars building. They have the misters going, try and keep you cool here in the 115 degree heat. Las Vegas is notorious for here. But there it is, home of Rick Harrison and crew, Chumley, etc. We'll go up here and I'm not going to make a U-turn because that's illegal. There's a bail bonds place there. But we will go up here. The office that's called there. Here to Fourth Street and cross over. And uh, I think I can make a right here. Maybe I'll just make a U turn here in this intersection. Bicycles may use the full lane here. The problem with that is though. You get some very impatient drivers, and that becomes a problem. Not that the drivers are in the right, because they're not, but it's just a very dangerous situation. This is a black building here. Proceed back over here to Las Vegas Boulevard, and we'll continue southbound towards the Las Vegas Strip. Famous by the History Channel, as seen on the History Channel, and then their little shopping district there, and dining. Gas Avenue now, just passing over. As we approach the light here at Hoover Avenue, and again we've had a lot of folks ask, can they walk from Fremont Street down to the Las Vegas Strip? This is the area you would be walking through. Tends to be, a, in my humble opinion, a little sketchy. You've got uh, Gateway Motel there. It looks like it's been closed off. In there, Monterey Motel. And we finally got the green light here at Charleston Boulevard. So the distance between the Fremont Street Experience and this, the beginning of the uh, Las Vegas Strip there with the Strat, it's 1.8 miles. This used to be a Walgreens here and is, uh, when they start closing the Walgreens, things are not going well. So it's 1.8 miles, and um, this is the area you would be walking through if you attempted to walk it. Again, I, I would probably either take Uber or bus. You can take the Deuce, it's called, the number two. And it, uh, I think it's like eight bucks for a 24 hour pass. And you can ride for eight bucks up and down Las Vegas Boulevard here. And especially in the summer, you would not want to try and take on this walk. I mean, right now it's 115 degrees outside. Sure, it's a dry heat, but you still end up sweating and miserable. And that's no way to spend your vacation, if that's what you're here to do is vacation. Come up here to this little interchange with 4th Street. And then you've got some tattoo, smoke shop. A pizza place over there, Boston Pizza it's called. And then we're going to go ahead and get over here to the right. As we come up to the light here at Wyoming. Another cannabis uh, shop, dispensary there. 
Now we finally got the green light here at Wyoming. Continue southbound on Las Vegas Boulevard with the Las Vegas Strip officially starting down here where you see the strap. Arepas, Art of Flavors, Gelato and Gelato and Sweets. There on the right as we cross over Oki Boulevard. It's a street you tend to see a lot of, but it's not contiguous, doesn't stay connected throughout the entire valley. Come up here to Tacos, Mexico on the right, St. Louis Square, and then the showgirls here at the official city of, welcome to, city, the, to the city of Las Vegas sign here. And it is so because that is the official city limit for Las Vegas. Back in the day, the um, casinos down on Fremont Street were subject to a lot of rules and regulations from the city of Las Vegas that they didn't necessarily like. And so uh, some of the new uh, newer casinos decided, well, we're going to go ahead and build outside of city limits. And we're going to build these casinos down here, the Flamingo being one of them, outside of Las Vegas city limits, just in uh, Clark County here. And uh, that's how they ended up creating the strip, the Las Vegas Strip down here. So these arches up here are the uh, dividing line for the city limits between the city of Las Vegas and the remainder of unincorporated Clark County. You have little townships and stuff around town too. Enterprise, Sunrise Manor, um, uh, Paradise, etc. But all in all, They just wanted to avoid all the regulations. And I got behind some sort of street clean, cleaning vessel vehicle here. So we continue southbound now, and this is the official beginning of the Las Vegas Strip here, right at the Strat. Created by Bob Stupak, it was the brainchild of Bob Stupak. Come up here to Bob Stupak Avenue, we're gonna make a right. Big bus stop right there. I did that in New York, took the big bus, it was a big red bus. We took a tour of the town and stuff. That was actually pretty cool. Oh jeez. Pedestrians. Aztec in casino. Right there. Thai food. Breakfast, five dollars. Wonder what you get for five bucks. Here just south of the Strat. This is the self park and everything for the Strat. And you see this uh, building here. I guess that's a motel of some sort. And then you got a uh, vacant lot there. Come up here to Fairfield Avenue. And show you the area here behind the Strat. And we got a four way stop. We'll make a right here on the Fairfield. Go northbound for our friends following along at home. And then show you they are renting here. You need a place to stay. Retail for sale. So this was a 7-Eleven, and they had a lot of calls for service there. Tons of police activity here all the time. And then one day I noticed that there was just a uh, there was like a uh, boarded up window or something. And then they just shut it down. I guess they said, forget it, we're done, we're tired of it. And they just shut it all down, so. That 7-Eleven is now gone, or at least shut down. You see these little homes here. And so this area used to be called Naked City, and the reason for that, Stupac Community Center, is because this used to be the area where a lot of showgirls, Vegas showgirls, would hang out and live when they weren't showgirling. showgirling. So they would, they would, uh, lay out and tan in this area. And of course they did so naked. So the pilots flying overhead on final approach into Las Vegas International Airport, they would uh, call the area Naked City because of all the naked women outside that they saw when flying overhead. The area I think has gone a little bit different in a different direction now than it was back then. As we make a U-turn here at Cleveland. Private property, huge bars 
on the gates there and then bars on the windows and doors. And they go right here down this alleyway. I'll show you the area around here. And again, just in the, behind the strat, in the shadow of the strat here. And there is the strat. multi-billion dollar casinos steps away and then right behind them you have housing like this back here you got some folks over here here to the Strat is right here on the back side of this and uh, you know if you don't know your way around you can very quickly come out of the Strat and be in this area there are a lot of calls for service in this area a lot That's what that van says there. Sober homies. I guess that's some sort of DUI ride share or something. New York, New York Avenue. New York Avenue, rather. Now intersecting here at this T intersection. Make a right. Fairfield continues northbound there. Goes up to, I think, Wyoming. Some of the apartments over here on the right. So come up the Commerce Street. And we'll make a right. 
right on the commerce here. It's that same vehicle we saw a moment ago, probably looking for something. And that's the strut. Right there in front of us. And there's the uh, driving range right there. I don't see any signage for it, so I can't tell you the name of the place. But again, it's right here next to the Strat. And then you have these buildings over here, right across from it. Here on Chicago, Chicago Avenue. Lots of bars on windows and doors here. Dumpsters in the street. We see that a lot in a lot of these high calls for area service. Well, high, high calls for service areas, I should say. I'm gonna make the old no, no, I'm gonna look for him as he flies around. Make the left now. in this western sun in the summertime 115 degrees right now the car reads see all that there oh they've got this all blocked off here okay I will need to you eat it and that's the one constant Las Vegas has changed one sure bet in this town, the one bet that you will always win is that there will always be change. Go up here to Fairfield, it's a dead end street on the other side of us there. show you the new Vegas Don shirts with our uh, Vegas Don logo on top of the Vegas skyline available on our YouTube shop the shopping bag on YouTube feel free to check those out we've got all sorts of warm warm cold cool weather gear etc uh, so hopefully you'll find something there you might like uh, also please do like follow and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok it helps recommend us to other viewers thanks for joining us all uh, joining us and as always 
Remember, here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time.